Hello 3E and welcome to your lesson on taxes and total cost. Our goal today, I know how taxes are charged in Ontario and I can calculate the total purchase price including taxes. So we're talking about taxes and total cost and so we'll start by uh, telling you a little bit about the sales tax system in Ontario. In Ontario we pay a harmonized sales tax of 13%. Uh, of our total purchase. This is composed of taxes for the provincial and the federal government. Prior to 2010 we paid what was called PST or provincial sales tax and GST which was goods and services tax. Now the provincial sales tax was obviously provincial and the goods and services tax was federal. And if you don't know what that means there's three levels of government in Canada. There's municipal, federal, and provincial. Um, provincial covers the province of Ontario. Municipal covers very close to your home, like in your town or your um, your county kind of area. Um, and federal is for the whole country. And so tax taxes are charged both um, by the province and by the government of Canada. Um, so. Uh, in 2010, the Ontario government tried to simplify the tax calculations by lumping the two of them together into what is known as the HST. Um, HST stands for Harmonized Sales Tax and it's currently 13%. Not every purchase is taxable. There are some purchases that are entirely exempt. Uh, and there are some purchases that have only GST, which is currently 5% tax on it. Now, a while back, GST was uh, up to 7%, but it was reduced first down to 6% and then down to 5% um, by the Stephen Harper government. Um, so you may find questions in your textbook that use 15% uh, as the total between provincial sales tax and the goods and services tax, uh, but you should use the current sales tax rate of 13%, which we talked about right here. Uh, so what kinds of things have tax on it? Well, tax is on most of the stuff that we buy, but there are some things that are tax free. Uh, for instance, um, basic groceries. So if you go into the grocery store, any of the stuff that's sort of in the in the regular type of aisle, not the candy aisle, uh, not bottles of pop, not chips, that kind of stuff, that's not considered basic groceries. Uh, but things like eggs and milk and butter and, uh, and uh, meat and produce and all that kind of stuff, those basic groceries, you don't have to pay tax on them because they are a necessity of life. Municipal public transit. Those are things like if you go to, to um, London um, and ride a bus, uh, there's no sales tax on that municipal transit. Air travel within Canada. So if you buy a ticket in Ontario and you travel to some other province, you don't have to pay tax on that ticket. Uh, rail, boat, and bus travel within Canada. Again, if you buy a bus ticket in Ontario and you travel to other parts of Canada, you do not have to pay tax on it. A resale home. That means a home that's been um, that's already been owned by somebody else, which is the vast majority of homes out there. They don't have tax on them. Chiropractor services, uh, dental services, prescription drugs, all kinds of necessity health kind of items, glasses and contacts. Uh, music lessons are exempt. Child care services and here's a biggie meals under four dollars total. So if you go and you buy a two dollar thing of french fries at a um, restaurant st stand or anything like that, um, you're not going to pay tax on it. Now there are some things that are exempt from the provincial part of the HST but you still have to pay the GST from the uh, federal government and those are things like children's clothing. Children's clothing are you only pay 5% as opposed to the total 13%. That includes children's shoes. Uh, air travel to the US, if you buy a ticket in Ontario and you go to somewhere in Canada, it's tax free, but if you cross the border and go to the US, you have to pay that 5% 
Uh, books you only pay 5%, newspapers, new homes, so these are homes that um, are brand new that you that have not been purchased before, uh, diapers, vitamins, massage therapy, uh, gym memberships, and live theater tickets. That's not movie theater, it's live theater tickets. And I think there is a restriction on the number of seating if, if there's less than 3,000 seats in the in the theater, then they're exempt from, or they, they're exempt from the PST portion of it. You just have to pay the five percent GST. So that's a list of things that are um, tax-free and somewhat tax-free or tax-reduced. So now let's see how we calculate these things. There are two methods of calculating sales tax. Both methods require that the tax rate be used in in decimal form. So 5% must be written as 0 0.05 before you make any calculations with it. 13% must be written as 0 0.13 before you make any calculations with it. And so we've got two different methods here for calculating sales tax. Um, the first one is a two-step method. Uh, sales tax equals purchase price times the tax rate. And the other one, total price plus purchase price or equals purchase price plus sales tax. So you have to do this in two steps. You calculate what the sales tax is and then add the sales tax to the purchase price. Now method two um, is total price equals the purchase price times one plus the tax rate. And one plus the tax rate may sound kind of um, confusing, uh, but don't think of it too much as confusing because one plus this tax rate would just be 1.13 and one plus this tax rate will be 1.05. So you just stick a one where that zero is and you're adding that one to the tax rate. Um, so we're gonna look at these, uh, a few examples and calculate it with uh, both methods. So example one, I bought a new computer worth $1,549.99. What was the total purchase price including sales tax? So method number one. Uh, method number one asks has me finding the sales tax first. So I'm going to find the sales tax by taking the purchase price and multiplying it by the rate, the tax rate. So in this case, the purchase price is $1,549.99 times the tax rate, which is 13%, 0 0.13. And we'll pull out the calculator to do that. Uh, 1549.99 times 0.13 gives me sales tax of $201.50 when I round this up. Uh, see, it comes to 40, 0.498. So since we want to round it to this number, we look at the next number and it's going to round up. So this 49 becomes 50. So $201.50. So we got 201.50. Now the total will equal purchase price plus tax. So in this case our purchase price was fifteen forty nine ninety nine and I have to add that two oh one fifty onto it. And pull up the calculator again. Let's add to this. This is our sales tax. Add uh, $1549.99, which brings us to uh, $1751.49. $1751.49. Cents is the total purchase price. And we should have a concluding statement and say, therefore, the total. price was seventeen fifty one and forty nine cents. 
Now, that was with method one. That involved um, two steps, one for calculating the sales tax and one for calculating the total purchase price. And that's the one you would need to do if you were calculating, um, if you wanted to know what the sales tax itself was. If you don't care what the sales tax is and you just want to know the total purchase price, um, you can do it much more simply by doing total equals purchase price times 1 plus the rate. So in this case our purchase price was fifteen forty nine ninety nine, and I can multiply it by 1.13 and what that does is it adds on the purchase price for me already. So let's pull up the calculator again. Uh, this time I'm going to clear it and we go 1549.99 times 1.13 and look at that we got exactly the same thing as we did before a lot less work 1751.49 so, <clears throat> and the concluding statement works over on this side because it's exactly the same question Okay. Let's do a few more and, and with these ones we might have to pay careful attention to what we're buying because some of them might be tax exempt. Ryan purchased a regular fry at New York Fries for $2.99. How much was his total purchase? This one's a bit of a trick question. Uh, $2.99 for a fry at New York Fries. That's under $4. So his total purchase was $2.99. Like I said, a little bit of a trick question. You have to know how the taxes are calculated. Okay, example three. Sean bought a pair of adult shoes priced at $25.65 and some children's shoes, I should say children's, for $19.97. What was his total at the cash register? I'll make that a question mark. Okay, his total at the cash register. Well, there's tax on this, but there's not as much tax on this. This is subject to the 13%, and this down here is only subject to 5%. So we're going to make this in two different uh, calculations and then add them together. Um, we're going to do the adult shoes first. The adult shoes are 25.65 and we need to multiply that by 1.13 because it gets the whole 13 percent. So 2565 times 1.13 is $28.98. $28.98. Um, now the child's The children's shoe was on our list of things that uh, only has 5% on it. So we're going to take 1997 and multiply that by 1.05. And I, if that's going to be 1997, I should actually write a 7 there, shouldn't I? Okay. So 1997, 1997 times uh, 1.05. 2097. Again, watch how you're rounding it. I want to round it to two decimal places so I get cents. So I have to look over here and that 8 means this bumps up to a 7. So 2097. So our total is going to be the adult shoes, the 2898 plus the 2097 for a total purchase price of, let's pull the calculator back up here, um, we've got twenty ninety seven plus uh, twenty eight ninety eight, so forty nine ninety five. So therefore, it costs. Forty-nine ninety-five for both pairs. Okay, 
I purchased a large box of diapers at Walmart for a friend who just had a baby. The price of the diapers was $35.99. How much did I owe at the cash register? Uh, well, diapers is one of those things that is 5%. So we can do the total price, and this is how much is at the cash register. I'm going to do the total. I'm going to do the the one all in one step, the way I did it up here. It's much, much quicker that way. So the total is going to equal the purchase price. And since this is only, uh, since this is diapers, we're going to multiply that by 1.05. So that's 5% and then 100%. That's what that one stands for. It stands for 100%. So we have the 100% of the purchase price and then 5% on top of that is what that actually means. So the purchase price is $35.99 and I'm going to multiply that by 1.05. So let's actually do that. $35.99 times 1.05. $37.79. Now of course in Canada we have now gotten rid of penny. So if you're paying by cash, if you're paying by credit card or by debit card, they're going to take $37.79 off of that. Uh, if you're paying by cash, they're going to actually charge you $37.80 um, because they have to round up. There's no pennies that they can give you back. Um, so you have to remember that that's going to happen at the till too. In one trip to the dollar store, I purchased a pair of headphones for $7.99, some graph paper for a dollar, a package of Crayola markers for $5.49, and a bag of potato chips for $0.69. Cents. What was my total bill, including GST? So we got to add all of this up first. There's a bunch of stuff here. So all of this, um, that should say HST, including HST. So we're going to add all of that up. Ta-da! So I've got $15.17 for the purchase price. And now I need the total with tax. So I take that $15.17 and I times it by 1.13 to get my total. My total is uh, $17.14. Now it says, what was my change for a $20 bill? Uh, well, once again, since we're paying in cash, they're going to round this up. It rounds up to $17.15. So to figure out your change from a $20 bill, you do 20 subtract $17.15. And 20 subtract $17.15 is $285. So your change was $2.85. And that concludes today's lesson.